Famous West Coast West domain, Baron de Rothschild defeats first venture in South America in 1988. The Rothschilds were actually the first French producer to invest in Shirley. Baron Eric de Rothschild and his team reviewed more than 100 wineries before they settled on Los Vescos, located in the Colchagua Valley. The site was chosen for its prime location, its perfect terroir, and the quality of the existing vineyard. The goal is to craft the most refined Cabernet Sauvignon. The wines are cultivated in the Lafitte style, elegance, finesse, and drinkability. Really, it's the right place because of the soils we have, the weather, the wind, the rain, and the temperatures during the summer and during the winter that really makes a special place. When the Domain Baron de Rothschild Lafitte came in 1988, they really discovered old vines and a very specific uh, valley. If you want to find the best expression from uh, Chilean terroir, it's very important to understand the local technique in order to make the best on the, on the terroir. Here in Chile, the people are growing vines for a long time, then they have a real strong culture. The vines have been stressed, the level of production has been dropped to produce lower yields, to produce better concentration of the grapes, uh, to obtain better color, to obtain a better flavor. We use the French oak. It's like a cook slowly, huh? because the grain is very little, and, and you obtain the good evolution to the wine in a, in a long time. You can have in the same time a uh, very good complexity and a very high uh, drinkability. The respect for the environment, the respect for the people who work in the company, and at the end, you can feel this energy into the wine. It's not only a blend between vines or terroir, uh, you really feel the blend uh, between the traditional culture of, uh, from France and the more modern world of Chile. I think the secret of Los Vascos is, is the passion, the excellence, the wine is part of our life. Bodegas Caro is a joint venture between two of the most respected families in the world of wine, the Catenas in Mendoza and the Rothschilds in Bordeaux. The two families started this project in 1999 to combine their expertise with Cabernet Sauvignon and Malbec in Mendoza's high-altitude terroir. The sunshine is very intense, but the temperature can get very cold. This combination produces wines of elegance and balance. The wines consistently receive top scores, and Bodegas Caro is often referred to as the first growth of Argentina. The name Caro comes from the partnership between the Catena family and the Rochard family. Ca is for Catena and Ro for Rochard. The partnership started in the year 1999 when my father, Nicolas Catena Zapata, met Baron Eric de Rochard. It's an assemblage of two varieties we love, Malbec and Cabernet Sauvignon. Well, our family's been making wine in Argentina, Malbec specifically, for over 100 years. And it was very exciting to team up with the owners of Chateau Lafitte Rochild, the Rocha family, uh, to make a wine based in Cabernet Sauvignon and Malbec. And um, I can't think of a better partner for Cabernet Sauvignon than the owners, owners of Chateau Lafitte. We 
are in Mendoza, Argentina, at the foothills of the Andes Mountains. This is the vineyard of Bodegas Caro in Altamira. Altitude is very important. We are at over 3,000 feet of elevation and the sunlight is quite high. Under these conditions, the grape contribute with intense color, soft mouthfeel that are just perfect for making age-worthy wines. Los Vascos and Bodegas Caro are a unique hybrid of old and new world winemaking. We are proud to be present them along with the rest of the Domaine Baron de Rothschild Lafitte properties. To help you promote these beautiful wines, we have developed a program called Icons of the Andes. Included are on and off premise tours, trips to South America, and point of sale. I am also a resource for you and am available to help you in your markets. Please feel free to reach out to me for any needs. I look forward to working with you all. Santé!